<laughs> is in Utah on this email. He writes, hey, Eddie, I loved watching the Driving and Crying Doc. Fantastic. You should have Kevin on as a guest. He's a songwriting legend. Get in his brain for us. And what's the next doc you suggest from your list? I need another to watch. Cabin Fever Blues. Hashtag Cab Cabin Fever Blues. Uh, Chris in Utah. Chris, great timing that you bring up the Driving and Crying Doc. Because finally, I watched it. As a matter of fact, I watched it on uh, Wednesday night, and I forgot to bring it up and talk about it. Chris, I'm going to be just totally honest with you. As I always say, I try to be here on this show with the Great Trunk Nation audience. Didn't love the doc. You know I love documentaries, and I'll watch a documentary on anything. Didn't love the driving and crying doc. Um, had nothing to do with the band or the quality of the band. I just, I don't know, it was, there was a lot of like, uh, what I found to be sort of distracting camera stuff going on in it. It was, a lot of it was shot in black and white almost all in black and white, the interview stuff, and then there were kind of jumpy camera stuff, and I, I don't know what they were really going for there from a, a artistic director standpoint. I know that it was you know, very bare bones the way it was done. I think the guy that made it was a radio guy. I think he said at the top of the documentary, and it just seemed like it was, um, you know, the, the aesthetic was a little bit at times, just, I don't know, I, I found it kind of strange. And also, I I was looking for, and, and I hung with it for like an hour, maybe a little more than an hour. And I rarely will check out of a documentary a little bit early, but I got to be honest, I was just kind of nodding off on it a little bit. Maybe it was late, I don't know. But I, I hung with that thing for a, over an hour. And the other thing about it was I just... You know, content-wise, I just wanted the story to come across a little bit more. I wanted more, just, I just, the way it was delivered, I just had a problem with. It just wasn't for me. I just didn't love to tell you it was great. I'd love to tell you I was consumed by it. I just wasn't. It just didn't hold my interest. And the the story of the band, and and I stuck with it, like I said, for over an hour, and it had a hour and 45 running time but from what i also got out of it in in watching it is the story of the band really was not all that unique usually great documentaries are driven by some sort of real i i don't know some some sort of deep storyline or some craziness or some madness that happened within the band now that being said if i'm being fair here and being honest like i said i checked out of it a little early I don't know if the last half hour things went totally haywire or what. But from what I saw, it was basically a story that a million bands could tell you about guys coming together, lineup changes, uh, some some modest early success, the major label record deal. I mean, all the all the things that were in it were like, okay, okay, okay. This is a lot of bands, you know, go through this. And I just was looking for some payoff or something that just didn't grab me and pull me in. Nothing against the band, nothing against their abilities as players, nothing. I mean, the only thing that I really learned in the time that I watched it was I didn't realize that they had had a good number of releases before Fly Me Courageous. And then again, just like every band, the same old story that they made, they got known for one song and a little bit of a different direction than they were really maybe all about. Um, but again, that's all not that, all not of, all, none of that is all that unusual or you know newsy or drama y or anything like that so liked it but didn't didn't pull me in and didn't get me completely into it but it has nothing to do with the band or their music it's just as a doc it just it just didn't grab me but thank you chris i'm glad you enjoyed it and be safe there in utah and as far as a recommendation for me from a doc, for a doc, you know, I'll talk about ones that I see all the time on this show and I don't have one for you at the moment, but I'm always hunting and exploring 
and sometimes being turned on to documentaries from you guys like that documentary. So when I come on something, I will absolutely share with you and let you know. Could be tonight, you know, I might hit or I might watch some stuff over the weekend and on Monday be like, hey, I just watched or somebody might turn me on to something. So if I get some uh, new recommendations, I'll pump them out for you both on my social media and here on the air as well.